Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 14, Problem Set. And the directions state, complete the missing spaces in each rectangle set. Now, when I look through, I have to figure out what goes in each of the four boxes that I have here. And I'm going to look at some of the other ones to see. So I see that my top uh, left one, based on this part, this part right here, is going to be word form. Uh, my box right uh, to the right of that, I see down here. That's, um, I'm going to say, the division box. Uh, this one right here, based on what it says, that's the expression but using the division symbol. But it's expression form. And then my last box based on this one. That's going to be the fraction. So now I can fill these all in uh, based off of the one that I'm given. So I'm given this. And I know that uh, this is saying H divided by 16. So just me saying that out loud uh, tells me that I can put that in in word form. So I have H... divided by 16 so that'll go there for word form and then when I go to plug these in to my uh, division box up in the top right I know H is my dividend it's the number being divided so that's got to go on the inside which means 16 is my divisor now based on the uh, other lessons you've had when we put it into the fraction part the dividend always goes on top. The dividend is the numerator. And my dividend is H, because that's the number being divided. 16 is the divisor, so it's the denominator. It's the number that we're going to use to break apart the dividend into equal groups. So that's that first part. Let's take a look down at this bottom one here, uh, and I'll do that in blue. I'm given this part. Uh, and this one gets a little bit tricky uh, in terms of how we're going to do uh, the word part of it. So we'll look at that first. Uh, I see that I'm dividing y plus 13 by 2. But it's not just y plus 13. It's telling me that i got to add those together first. So when I go to type this one out, um, I'm going to do the sum of because I want to make sure that I get the sum of y plus 13. So I'll do y plus, uh, I'll do the sum of y and 13 divided by 2. And the reason why I'm doing that is I want to make sure that I find the sum of y and 13 first. So I could put the sum of y plus 13 or... Uh, you know, the total of y and 13 divided by 2. It's telling me that y and 13 have to be done first before I divide it. So when I go to put this into fraction form, uh, I know that my dividend, or the number on the inside, or the number being divided, will go on top. So y plus 13, and then my divisor, or the number of groups that we're going to break it into, uh, will go on the bottom. So I could put my parentheses on there. I don't have to, though. Now when I go over here um, to the expression or using the division symbol, uh, again, my dividend is going to go first. And this one, I am going to put it in parentheses because i got to do that first before I divide it by my divisor of 2. If I left that off, based on the order of operations that we solve with, I would have to actually do 13 divided by 2 first because it tells me I have to divide and multiply uh, before I add and subtract with that. But when I put the parentheses around it, that's going to tell me i got to go in here first because parentheses come first um, before my... Uh, I do everything in the parentheses before I do my other operations. So that's why the parentheses are on there. I uh, hope this helps, and good luck on your problem set.